what's happening everyone welcome back to Urban Reacts now you guys have been inboxing me messaging me for weeks <laughs> and I mean for weeks asking for this one so this one guys is just for you this is a this is a request from you guys I'm gonna do this reaction I can't wait to get into it it's been a while since I've heard some of 360's music it's a rapper that we covered when I first started YouTube so again I gotta pay me respects and I love his music big up all my Australian fans supporting if this is the first time you're here please hit the subscribe button that big red button hit the notifications bell and help to get to 10,000 subscribers so this is 360 standalone let's get into it love his music 100% gonna be a story, I know that already. I was just gonna go in and just do typical bars and shit like that, but... Huh? It felt weird, like, I haven't dropped anything for so long, so... The beat! I had to do this first, okay? 360, yeah. come on! Huh? 360 is officially back again. Mm. Honestly, I hate that. It makes me feel embarrassed how many times in life am I gonna have to say that You can look at his eyes bro Everyone watching this video right now look at the pain in his eyes you can see it man So I get it if everybody is questioning I guess the lesson is nothing is ever definite Said I'm mm. feeling pathetic and hoping that you will get it I'm needing you all to know that I'm really putting some effort in mm. Last year spent four months away Had a huh? ball but never felt more fucking pain It was all such a maze They taught me how to walk unafraid Never thought that I would talk unashamed The people never <sighs> They taught me how to walk unafraid Never thought that I would talk, talk unashamed The people Never met. He faced his demons, he faced the things that were bothering him, and now he can talk about it without feeling like people are judging him. Man, that's what you call spiritual growth. If you know, you know. Some more loving mates, but classic matter always going force love away. Mm. I thought it'd be all fun and games, but I got out with Melbourne lockdown like a fourth Hunger Games. I'm doing all fun and games, but I got out with Melbourne lockdown like a fourth Hunger Games. I'm doing better now, no one be aware that the next part is something that I wrote while I was there. Lonely, I was scared, feeling hopeless for the fact I'd go from living a dream and then go to being there. Okay, okay, so what he's talking about here is it's either being in addiction or mental health. That's what he means about talking about being there, you know? Lonely, I was scared, feeling hopeless for the fact I'd go from living a dream and then go to being there. And then hospital telling me it'll make or break me. I'm saying maybe it's the breaks that make me All these paranoid thoughts, man, it may break me I'm saying maybe it's the breaks that make me Maybe it's the breaks that make All these paranoid thoughts, man, it made me crazy I was literally thinking that all my mates will hate me Boss. I had to work through the issues that I was facing daily As I fade away, I was doubting there's any way to save me I Ain't religious at all, I used to detest it But I'm so desperate that it's even got me praying lately Lost friends who I thought gave a fuck about me Now my vice is openly doing drugs around me I can personally relate to all of this Lost friends who I thought gave a fuck about me Now my vice is openly doing drugs around me mm. What that feels like made me realise The only ones that'll understand me is my fucking family Family. I gotta keep going, yo, I ain't finished yet Can't believe that I'm dealing with all this shit again I hope you young people are watching this And really listening and understanding what he's trying to say You know, and he's sharing his pain on the beat And pff, 360 in a nutshell Cutting ties with another one of my biggest friends Now I get the meaning of with you until the bitter end If you're discontent, you need to go and fix it then Or else a bitter friend will be turning into your biggest threat you can tell content you need to go and fix it then Or else a bit of friend will be turning into your biggest threat You can tell somebody's true intentions When people are giving you attention They can't help but interject I can see why you wanted me to, to react to this <laughs> There's more to life than fame and being a big success You pissed off cause I haven't made you bigger yet I helped you grow into a king And yet instead of rolling with it You focus on what you didn't get like you're deserving of this shit instead I'm only tolerating a certain level of disrespect We both carried the world on our shoulders I put mine in my palms While yours turned into a chip instead My psychologist made an observation I don't just hate it I'm afraid of confrontation Letting shit slide Cause I hate the complication Never nip it in the bar That delayed the conversation Gave an ultimatum I can't believe that I tolerated It's my fault How many times am I gonna take it? Hell for ransom for shit I couldn't afford But it was more for the fact that I couldn't afford not to pay it for me to fight though is so rare I'm let me tell you one thing about 360 every time he jumps on a track it's real rap you know and it's that f i can feel it now you know 
when you get goosebumps when you hear a track because you can personally relate to it, but the bars are so real that it gives you that effect. It's more for the fact that I couldn't afford not to pay it For me to fight though is so rare I'm laid back and carefree but it doesn't mean that I don't care Any conflicts I prefer to not go there When I fucking snap it's like it's coming from nowhere I was naive thinking that you're a friend of mine But you were naive thinking I wouldn't ever find out that you were stealing While I was living a messy life Like I'd never noticed cause I was too busy getting blind Now I get it why you'd never mind Then you try something so offensive I couldn't even let it slide Made me choose between you and my family make me make that choice and I'm choosing family every time now it's something I regret got an email asking if I'd be comfortable as friends fuck no how you thinking we'd be wonderful again bitch you stole from me what the fuck did you expect now I'm glad that we're coming to an end always gave you nothing but respect used to greet people with open arms but the trust in me is wrecked because of you there is nothing but offense I'm lucky I'm not dead all these voices stuck up in my head drank so many spirits so no wonder I'm possessed instead of jumping off the edge I was stumbling and begging for you to lend me a hand but you'd encourage me instead Mad, mad. Sorry, I was I was just really zoning in on the lyrics there. Um, and there's no, you can't match when a rapper's talking about personal experiences on top of mad flows, on top of mad bars, on top of it just banging as a track. You add that personal experience into there, the realness. It's the cherry on the cake every time. I've said that. You know I said that. It's like life is chewing me out. I'm sorry that that's become what all my music's about. Fighting every day to get back to my usual self. I'm still alive. What the fuck am I doing in hell? Mm. With that said, I've been out of line a lot. Broke a girl's heart. It shattered mine to watch. She deserves happiness in order to be having it. She really needs to have what I am not. How is this not on a million views? But Sick of sabotaging jobs, sick of being unhappy, but more sick of acting like I'm not. Mm. Thought I could see the beauty in this life, displaying my ugliness like it's a beautiful disguise. Such a wreck, spent weeks in my fucking bed, and I'm still feeling like I've underslept. I've got to give it everything, nothing less. Please know that I'll keep going until there's nothing left. Man. She gets the blood pumping, you know? You can see the pain. Look at his eyes, man. Like when he, when he, after he's fucking finished the song, you can see the release. You can see the relief from him now. Look. She gets blood pumping, you know. Hectic shift. Look at the smile. You, you know. Music is therapy. Music is therapy. Trust me. For a lot of rappers. Powerful stuff, man. Depression's powerful. Anxiety is powerful. Mental health is powerful. We need to look after each other. We need to look after ourselves. Message your friend twice. Ask him if he's okay. If he says he's okay, ask him again. You know? Um, and 360's talking about his journey. You know, and he, he said that he went to a psychologist to get help because he was stuck in bed. For, listen, he was stuck in bed. You know? He was drinking to 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 numb the pain and uh, his, his experience, you know, kind of made him go downhill and just, we need an album. <laughs> I know I always say this about every rapper, but we need an album, 360. If you see this video on the very small chance you see it, we need an album, brother. We need an album um, with some mad features, if you can. Uh, maybe Cursor. <laughs> that would be funny, wouldn't it? Um, but yeah, 360, real rap every time. Thank you. Um, for doing your thing, keep doing your thing, please stay well, you know, alcohol and drugs will never, never make you feel better, and um, never be afraid to ask for help, people, there's help out there, and it's completely free, a lot of the help out there is completely free, remember that, and it doesn't make you weaker to talk about your mental state, it doesn't make you weak to talk about your struggles, uh, it makes you strong, you know, please remember that, but yeah, guys, if you have enjoyed this reaction, please hit that big red button, that subscribe button, help me to get to 10k by the end of, what, May, <laughs> take it easy, stay safe, be well, I'll see you all in the next video, peace.